Okay, in this screencast I'm going to take a look at the process of removing members from a collaborative space and here I'm looking at collaborative learning spaces which are the spaces in which teachers and students work together and to begin the process I need to make sure that I click on this link up here called collaborative learning spaces I own. Now it's already greyed out, it looks like it's clicked but in fact you need to um, click on that in order to bring up these action buttons over here on the right hand side. So the space that I'm looking at is this one here. It's a, a simulated class space, has 20 members in it and um, I'm saying that it's the end of the, the school year and I want to remove those students from the space so that they're not working unmoderated in that space over the holiday break. So if I go to the actions menu and scroll up to assign members. So this is the reverse of the process of adding students to a space or adding people to a space. So I'm going to um, have a look at the students that are in my space down here. And I've got all of these students who've been members of the space for the school year and I want to remove those students from the space. So what I need to do is click on the tick up here and it deselects all of those community members. Now before I update these associations I need to go back and make sure that I add the tick back for myself. So this is me here, um, O teacher. So if I click on that I can add my remain in the space or um, stay in that space and th that's important because if you remove yourself from the space that space becomes inactive and then nobody can access it. So I've now removed all of these students from the space. I need to update those associations by clicking on the button here and I will find that now I am the only member of that space. So that's how we remove people or members from our spaces.